hello, hello, hello. My name is Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited to have you on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about um, dependence that can come under a skilled worker visa. So I'm not going to waste much time. If you like the content I'm sharing with you, hit the like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Um, that will give me more energy to do more for you. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is share my screen so you can see exactly where I'm getting the information from. We can read it together. If I miss anything, you will be helping me. So let's go through it together and find out who are dependent. So just give me a moment. I'm just going to share my screen with you and I'm going to adjust my camera so that you can see me um, a lot better. Fantastic. Right, let's get into the video. Who are dependents? So dependents include your partner and your children. So this is the relationship that's allowed or that's, um, yeah, the relationship that's allowed um, to, to the relationship that's allowed on under your visa. So it needs to be a husband, wife, civil partner or unmarried partner. Your uh, child who's under 18 can come under as a dependent, including if your children were born in the UK, uh, um, they, are all, they can also come under your visa. Children who are over 18 and they're currently in the UK can, can also go under your visa. Right. So let's have a look at the partner. Um, so you must be able to prove one, one of these things. So there are two things. The first thing, you must be able to prove civil partnership or uh, a marriage that's recognized in the UK. So basically a marriage certificate or a civil partnership certificate. If you can't prove that, then you need to uh, show evidence that um, you've been staying with this person for at least two years from the time that you make the application. So what sort of things can you show uh, that you've been uh, living with this person, you've been living together for the past two years? So if you've had children together, that can be used as evidence. If you have any uh, joint bank accounts, if you have any um, bills that are joined together, in this area, you'd need to consult a solicitor so that they can help you prove this. But it's so much easier if you've got marriage certificate or, or, or a civil partnership uh, to actually prove that you're uh, someone's uh, wife or husband or partner. Um, so that's the easiest way, um, I would say. If you have children that are 16 or over, you must be able to prove that these children live with you. If they're not living with you, then there must be in full-time education, boarding, college or university, um, and that's, that, that's okay. Um, they must not be married. Um, they must not be in a civil partnership. They must not have any children of their own. And um, the person who's making the application should be able to support uh, financially their child. Um, if your child lives with you, they need to provide evidence of uh, of that, uh, anything that has their name on it and their address. So a bank statement, credit cards, driver's license, um, things like that, or any bills or college or university letters that have their name on it. So this is for children over the age of 16. So this section, I'm going to be talking about the money that you need to show that you can support um, your family, uh, your dependents once they come in the UK. So if you're applying for your partner, you need to support with 285 uh, pounds you should have that in your in your bank um, if you've got a child the first child pays 315 pounds the next child and the rest of the children will pay 200 pounds so if you're only applying for your partner and you're applying for um, if you're applying for your partner and you're applying for your child we're looking at something around 600 pounds that you need to show that you can also um, that you can support them for at least one month. 
Right, whilst I'm on this, um, it depends who you're employed with and it depends who your solicitor is. What you could do, your employer could actually show that they are able to sponsor them. So a good thing to do is ask your employer if they can sponsor your family so that when you get your letter of sponsorship or your certificate of sponsorship, it includes that um, your employer can sponsor both your uh, all your dependents basically. This will make it a lot easier when it comes to applying for a visa. You will not need to show this uh, amount of money. Um, and again, if you're making an application for yourself, you will need to show that you've got 1270 in your account. And if you can't do that, you would have to speak to your employer and ask them if they, they can include that on your letter, on your certificate, um, letter of uh, certificate. Uh, Right, so applications are made online, and once you've made your application, you need to, um, it, it's made online, once you've done it, um, you need to go to a visa application centre where you can have your fingerprints done and have, um, and this, you know, we call these biometrics, uh, it's basically your fingerprints, uh, you need those done, um, just seeing what else, so currently it's taking about three weeks to get a decision. So this um, can actually be longer because of what's happening in Ukraine. So it might take up to eight weeks for you to get a, a decision. Um, right. Okay, I wanted to talk about this, this part that if you have talked about it, if you've got, um, if you've got, uh, if you've got um, your employer, if they can somewhere, somehow in your um, certificate of sponsorship sorry <laughs> brain dead <laughs> in your certificate of sponsorship if they can include that um, they can sponsor you and your dependents then you'll be fine you won't need to show any of these things so finally I'm going to talk about the cost how much it actually costs to to apply for each person so each visa is applied per person so it's 479 if you're applying for a, a up to three years visa so if you apply for one year visa two year visa three year visa you pay 479 if you're applying to stay more than three years it could be three it could be four years five years then you need to pay um 943 uh those are the fees for um for applying um, I think that's really it that I wanted to share with you in this video. I'm just trying to think of any other questions that you've sent me so I can cover those on here. So let me move my screen. I'm just going to have a quick, I'm just going to have a quick look. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm going to have a quick look and check if there are any questions that you wanted me to answer. Um, I don't think they, I think I've covered all of them. So thank you so much for coming. If you found this uh, video useful, please subscribe, comment, like, and thank you so much for everyone who's been supporting me. It's much, much, much appreciated. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.